Hi everyone. This is my midterm project for digital imaging. For this project, I wanted to go with a nautical pirate theme. I took this photograph last week at Pier 39 in San Francisco, California. There's a place towards the end of the pier, upstairs, where you can see the San Francisco Bay and Alcatraz Island, which is off in the distance of this shot. To expand on my theme, I decided to add a pirate ship and a large whale near it in the bay. They might be trying to catch a sea monster, but maybe it will escape. To help with the sense of action and adventure in the image, I decided to make the sky look stormy. To sell that effect throughout the rest of the image, I desaturated every element to make things look gloomy. The hardest part was masking out the pirate ship, but I used the hair masking brush to get all the netting and extremely fine details. Making the ship look like it's not just floating above the water was also a very difficult part. I ended up borrowing some sea foam from the whale's wake to help set it into the water better. Making a convincing wake behind the ship was a lot easier said than done. I ultimately settled for color picking some of the water's colors and painting them in by hand. Also later, after recording this video, I changed the shape of the wake to be a lot wider and more flared out. After studying the original ship photograph, I realized my wake didn't look anything like the original wake because it was too close together and linear behind the ship. After using transform and warp to widen it out, it felt a lot more believable. Another edit I made after recording this video is changing the color of the sky. I didn't realize it first, but it had a slightly orange color cast to it. I picked a color from a distant light blue hill and made a new layer out of it on top of the sky with the blending mode set to color. Also, the sky and the hills weren't connecting right. My eye kept getting stuck on that line. To fix it, I made a new layer on top of this color correction layer, painted some white that I color picked from the sky, painted a little near the hill line with a soft brush, and dropped the opacity of this new layer to 75%. This created an atmospheric distance effect and improved the final image a lot. Another final touch I made after recording this video was getting rid of the small sign in the lower left corner. It was a distracting artifact and detracted from the final image. I used spot healing brush tool to do this. I think some successful points of the image are camera angles, color, and a cohesive theme. I left a lot of open water in the composition of my original image to make room for added elements. I did not take the photographs of the pirate ship or the whale, but they are royalty free and free to use in any way on unsplash.com. While choosing these images, I made sure that the photographer was looking down at their subjects to match the angle of my original source image. To match lighting from the original image, I painted extra shadows on the right side of the pirate ship to match shadows on the right side of Alcatraz in the distance. I planned for this project the best I could, but still many issues came up when I started working. All I can really do when I'm planning is try my best to avoid these, but they do come up. The main techniques I used were masking, adjustment layers, blur filter, and some hand-painted details. Overall, this project was very time-consuming, but meditative to work on. Thinking about overall coherence of every single added element is a lot to consider, and can be almost overwhelming. Thanks for watching my presentation, and I hope you all enjoyed it.